No speech on race baiting would be complete without several statistics that liberals would call hate facts because it's easier than dealing with the truth. I don't take any pleasure, by the way, in some of these statistics. It's not fun. But you can't fix things unless you tell the truth about them in the first place. You should have uh, eaten fewer baked beans this evening. <laughs> yes, from the look of you, diet is a problem. Um, <laughs> No, she, no. Oh, stop the press, here's a gay man's catty. Oh, good lord. No speech. Oh dear. Oh dear. Let me tell you, let me tell you, sir, fat shaming works. Fat shaming, of course it works. I mean, who would ever imagine that fat shaming wouldn't work? Like somebody you love, so do I look hot in this? No, not anymore. You'd stop eating. And in fact, all the studies, all the studies suggest. <laughs> all right, sweetheart. Criminologist Dr. Richard Johnson from the University of Toledo. You want some facts? Here are some. Based on the 2012 numbers, it would take 40 years worth of blacks killed by police to equal the total number of blacks murdered by, uh, murdered by police in a single year. 900 people have been killed by cops in 2016. 47% were white males. Only 24% were black males. Black males are not killed out of proportion, especially considering that they're much more likely to interact with cops. People are killed by police about as often as they're killed by lightning. There are no protests about storms. Black males are... <laughs> Black males are 58% of those killed legally by private citizens in self-defense. You might think that's an aha moment about racist whites, but 75% of those were killed by other blacks. FBI statistics on murder lay bare the real threats to black lives in America. Black men are about 6.5% of, of the US population, but they commit 52% of all murders over a 30-year period, which has dipped to about 40% in recent years, but still horribly and vastly disproportionate. Black men overwhelmingly murder other black people. Whites overwhelmingly murder other whites. That's not the narrative from Black Lives Matter. Looking at overall violent crime, blacks are 27 times more likely to attack whites than vice versa, and eight times more likely to attack Hispanics. That's a shocking number I hope you take away from my visit. 90% of blacks that die from murder die at the hands of other black people. Is that enough facts for you? 